There are many reasons to visit Germany, including its delicious food, medieval villages, fairy tale castles, exciting cities, festivals, and, of course, the fun-filled events during Oktoberfest. If you're unsure of where to go though, this list of the nation's most memorable locations will give you a great head start on your itinerary. Berlin Berlin is a sprawling metropolis that is five times bigger than Paris. It is dispersed across a vast area with forests in all directions, and the modern Reichstag gracefully coexists with MIT's historic buildings. The majority of Berlin's top attractions are concentrated in Berlin MIT, the city's historic center. Visit the Brandenburg Gate, which represents reunification after decades of division between East and West Berlin and is the only remaining city gate in Berlin. Rothenburg. Rothenburg is located along the fabled Romantic Road in Germany. This magnificent medieval city should be at the top of your list of places to visit because it is one of Europe's top fairy tale towns. If it looks familiar, that's because Walt Disney drew inspiration from the same town when he was creating Pinocchio. Although about 40% of the medieval walled city was destroyed during World War II, the community quickly rebuilt it in the same manner as before, reclaiming its magnificent architectural past. The city appears to be preserved in a time capsule. Lindau Lindau, one of Germany's quaint small towns, was once a free imperial town of the Holy Roman Empire and dates back to the 9th century. Although it appears to be a fictional Bavarian lakeside village from a movie, Lindau is actually a very real place. Wander down to the harbor to take in the breathtaking views, or lose yourself in its charming streets and alleys flanked by houses that are hundreds of years old. Be sure to take one of the boat tours that depart from the quaint harbor if you go during the summer, if you want to see the stunning views of Austria, Switzerland, and the Alps across the lake. Weimar Another picture-perfect town and a must-visit for history buffs is the small East German town of Weimar. Many of the great thinkers and artists of Germany, including Bach, Nietzsche, and Goethe, were once residents of Weimar, the center of German culture. Numerous tourists come to see the home and studio of the renowned poet Johann Wolfgang Goethe. Some people travel to see the eerie ruins of the Buchenwald concentration camp, which serve as a chilling reminder of the horrors of the Nazi regime that followed. Frankfurt Frankfurt is a popular business destination because it is a significant transportation hub, an industrial and financial metropolis, but the 2,000-year-old city is also worth visiting for a while to take in its top cultural attractions. You can enjoy expansive views of the city from the 650-foot-high platform of the main tower, the only high-rise in the area that is accessible to the general public. The Main River, a renowned opera house, a thriving theater district, a zoo, a pedestrian shopping street, parks, a number of bars and dance clubs, and more than 50 museums are just a few of its highlights. Monshaw This charming little town in the Eiffel region, close to the Belgian border, is well known for its historic district which features lovely, winding streets lined with preserved half-timbered homes. The town also hosts an annual open-air music festival that draws visitors from all over Europe. In the summer, all the restaurants and hotels have tables outside, making dining al fresco an especially joyous experience given the beautiful vistas and fresh air. While wooden games and other toys spill out of doorways looking as if they were just made by one of Santa's elves, the aroma of warm apples and shortbread draws people into bakeries. Regensburg Regensburg, one of Bavaria's most lovely towns, is a gem. This city of churches, which is situated on the Danube River, served as the hub from which Christianity was transmitted throughout Germany and even into Central Europe. From the Steinernbruck, or Stone Bridge, which spans the Danube on 16 arches and dates to the 12th century, taken a panoramic view of the roofs and spires of its old town. 
The bridge was a turning point in the development of bridge architecture, inspiring many other well-known structures, including the Carl Bridge in Prague and the London Bridge. Fussen and Neuschwanstein Castle Despite the fact that many tourists bypass Fussen and proceed straight to Neuschwanstein Castle, both places are definitely worth a visit. There are many fairy tale castles in Germany, but this one, hidden in the nearby Bavarian Alps, is unique. It was the model for Walt Disney's Sleeping Beauty Castle and is the most photographed building in Germany. The 700 year old town has an old world charm thanks to its cobblestone streets, and you can eat traditional Bavarian fare in the town's restaurants and cafes. Hamburg Hamburg, a port city in northern Germany, has one of the largest harbors in all of Europe and is second only to Berlin in terms of population and size. You can easily understand why it has been dubbed the Venice of the North, by taking a stroll along its many canals and waterways. It is undoubtedly one of the most picturesque cities in all of Germany with its flair and maritime charm. It is also well known for the Reeperbahn, the city's center of nightlife and red light district, although this area is prone to heavy tourist traffic. Munich Munich offers a wide variety of things to do and see despite being nearly completely destroyed between the two world wars. The Marienplatz is the city's main square, and from here you can explore many of its beautiful landmarks and structures, such as the Marian Saal, the Marian Column, the Golden Virgin Mary statue atop it, and the old and new town hall. A stunning carillon that is more than a century old can be found in the tower of the new town hall. Even though the Hofbrauhaus is famous for its Oktoberfest, you can go there at any time of the year. Dresden Dresden, also known as the Florence of the Elba, is a lush, green city full of gardens, parks, and forests, situated along the banks of the Elba River. It also has a rich history, culture, and art. It is home to many magnificent examples of Baroque architecture as well as a number of top-notch museums, including the Grunes Julb and Gemalda Gallery Alte Meister. Despite the Second World War largely destroying Dresden's historic center, all of its landmarks have been restored to their former grandeur. Cologne one of Germany's oldest cities, Cologne has a 2,000-year history and is home to numerous notable examples of modern architecture in addition to Roman towers, Gothic churches, and other historical structures. The focal point of the city and its extensive architectural past is its imposing cathedral. Additionally, Cologne is the location of numerous world-class museums, such as the Museum of Applied Art, the Museum Ludwig, and even the Chocolate Museum. Additionally, it is renowned for hosting the biggest carnival celebrations in Germany and its contemporary art scene. Ruggen Island Although few people think of Germany as having beaches, the nation actually has some incredible stretches of sand, and they are all on Ruggen Island. The distinctive chalk cliffs that are exclusive to this Baltic Sea oasis are its most well-known feature. The Iking's Chair, the tallest and most well-known of the cliffs, rises nearly 400 feet above sea level. Visitors can explore historic sites and museums like the Chalk Museum, which is housed inside an old chalk quarry and provides information on the various varieties of chalk and all types of stones, in addition to admiring the cliffs, enjoying the lovely beaches, and relaxing spas. Quedlinburg. Travelers who are passing through the Saxony Anhalt region must stop in Quedlinburg. The insanely charming town that managed to escape the effects of World War II is located just north of the Harz Mountains, and still has a medieval feel to it. In fact, this region is home to some of Europe's best preserved Renaissance and medieval structures. You'll feel as though you've stepped into another time as you walk through its winding, cobblestone streets that wind their way around countless red-roofed half-timber houses. It's the ideal place to while away an afternoon.
Dusseldorf. The capital of North Rhine-Westphalia, Dusseldorf, is a modern, cosmopolitan city with a lovely old town that is renowned for its vibrant nightlife and altbuyer. It is situated on the banks of the River Rhine. The narrow, cobbled streets lined with pubs and bars, which are now known as the longest bar in the world, offer something for every taste, not just German beer but also international brews. On a nice day, there are lots of people walking, skating, and having picnics along the banks of the Rhine promenade. 